Dave, congratulations again on being inducted into the Hall of Fame. Thanks. I have some questions I want to ask you about your background. What individual has had the greatest influence on you in your wrestling career? It would have to be individuals. You know, through the years, there's been a, a lot of guys that have, you know, it started when I was young. I think maybe Ivan Olson, who's a member of the Hall of Fame. He was my first Greco freestyle coach back in San Diego. And, uh, yeah. and uh, he was kind of unassuming, just a little round guy with a megaphone, but he could attract guys into that dark nice. wrestling room. And that was the first, guy, first time I got to know a, yeah. a wrestling fanatic. You know, I think my, my junior college coach, Al Walker, he was another huge influence. He was a selfless guy that loved his wrestlers and, you know, I wanted to be like him. Um, you know, I came to Chico State. Norman taught me a lot. Um, he was not only my coach later on after they dropped the program, he was my assistant for a number of years at Red Bluff. And he taught me a lot. You know, I think maybe the idea of if you expect 100% from your wrestlers, you got to give 100% yourself. Um, I think those have been some of my bigger influences. Is there uh, someone that you consider your idol? I don't really think so. I couldn't narrow it down. I saw like I couldn't really narrow down an idol. A lot of people I respect. How did you get started in wrestling? In the front yard, uh, wrestling in the front yard, and the kid next door was going out for the wrestling team at the high school. So uh, I had, that was the first time I ever did organize sports. So I went in there and got started and been hooked ever since. What do you contribute your coaching success to? I think uh, once upon a time, I think I knew it all. I think when I got to the point where I knew I didn't know it all, and, and that I had to keep learning and keep working and that it wasn't just going to happen, that it, it was going to be work and uh, continuing to learn. Is there one outstanding situation or memory that you have about your, your coaching or wrestling in general? One outstanding situation or memory? I'd say a, a wrestling the wrestling part of me was my last college match when I lost. I didn't, I missed out being an All-American and, and I had a lot of regrets, but I think that pushed me to continue my wrestling, maybe to somehow, you know, yeah. get some kind of resolve for that. And that just kept me in the sport until I got into coaching. Coaching, there's too many memories. There's too many memories to single out one. Yeah. Some great ones though. You might have already answered this, Dave. Uh, uh, is there one match that really stands out in your mind? It, it may have been that last match. I don't know. Yeah, of my own. Yeah, that was definitely my my or, or, or my your big team. one. Oh, I would. If there was a match that sticks out in my mind, it would have been Eric Nye wrestling in the national finals. Seven seconds left. He had to make a decision whether he's going to go up and down, and he. He was wrestling Jared Roschel from Oklahoma and hit a gut to win it with no time left on the clock. Oh yeah, the place went nuts. So that was definitely, that was maybe the most memorable match. Why did you decide to become a coach? I think it was being around other coaches and seeing the influence that they had on kids, families, and I just wanted to do that. I just wanted to be part of that, be like them. If you could start all over again, what would you do differently, or would you? No, I, I think that I'm kind of the, the sum of all my experiences, and if you took away one, you might have a hole somewhere else. Um, you know, I made mistakes, but I think learning from those mistakes is what makes you better. What would you like people to remember about you? That what I said 
was the truth. Um, what I did, I did with no agenda um, that I never meant ill will towards anybody. I think those were... Um, and finally, how has wrestling contributed to your life? Some might say it is my life. Um, the relationships. There are certainly the challenges of dealing with kids, competition, things like that. But the camaraderie, I, I don't know because I haven't been in a lot of other things, but I believe the camaraderie in wrestling is unlike anything else. I think events like this prove that. But um, I, I love to go to every tournament I can because I'm it's like a big reunion every Saturday. So. Well, Dave, again, congratulations on being inducted in the California Wrestling Hall of Fame. Thanks. Thanks a lot.